I said, statistics heavily in favor of her. Dingning has only dropped two games in this whole tournament. Identical picture game we've seen earlier today as well. So both uses topspin on both forehand and backhand. Report two from the table to play from off court. That is quite unusual in women's table tennis, but makes for very good rallies. Now see how these two styles of playing clash. Four games wins the match and in turn the tournament. Double final finals with sadly has to be omitted due to an injury of injured his lower back yesterday. The match against his teammate Jan An. against his teammate Jan An. Table. Game points for her. Five in a row. 11, five, and this one is already five, used. 11-5 is the score. of the table even and while in focusing and keeping her activities up in the row and was about to lose control of the game when she finally managed to end it very much like Li Xiaoxia likes to stay a bit closer to the table and hit the ball instead early on the bounce that allows for very little time to react to her shots for the opponent. Has more problems swinging from the sides. Six. Not see that in time. Get into the game in the semi finals as well to one nine six. One two combination first opening topspin and then the closing one hitting it early on the bounce twice. First game to score her points. Then she equalized now. To middle lead would be huge for her.
safe to just block the ball, but that is not the Chinese way of playing table tennis. It is. That is 小霞, she wins all the, all let's say most of the inning style. Watch now how she moves for that forehand topspin that she in turn misses. of women's take comes incredibly fast especially against a player like Li Xiwen. To put on the pressure against Ding Ding is up 10 to 5. score 11-13, 11-8 is the score from the perspective of the serving in Ding Ning. a mixed performance by Liu Xiuen, to be honest. Especially when caught in a longer rally and off the court. Here. Catching her on the wrong foot. An answer quickly. It seems and the Yep and there it is 11, 11 5, five. Game. Ding, ding ding building on her in Doha. Center court action between two Chinese women, Ding Ning and 
Liu Xiuen managed to win the second game ever so slightly with 13-11. Dominant performance by the world champion and the Olympic silver medalist so far. And today she just finished as Victor Alcia. Very fast boards. 7 1. Four game, four points, excuse me, <laughs> to go. Ding ding. About the whole match. There's not much. her equalize the score now. It's back at the table, timeout spent for Ding Ning. In terms of this game, I wonder why that is. She was just looking to equalize the score here. This game. And that indeed seven, she seven, does. Game, Winner of the women's one. doubles as well as the women's singles division. One more game left for today. The ultimate game, it is as well, China versus China once more, it is the men's singles finals coming up in just a few short moments. The women's singles as well, first of all congratulations to the runner-up of the men's singles event, Liu Xiwen from China. Being presented by Mr. Koi Tura, ITTF Executive Vice President. Congratulations, Ding Ning winning the women's singles competition of the Qatar Open 2013. Awards and flowers being presented by the ITTF President, Dadham Sharara. Congratulations to both runner up and the champion of the women's singles. Superb performance for, from them as well throughout the competition here in Doha. Winners check nonetheless. Not to forget, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please acknowledge your medals in the women's singles event. The runner up for Lu Xi Wen, the winner, Ding. For the picture, winners, 2013 Qatar Open Women's Singles Division.